The lonesome call of a steam train across a farm field and a chip named for trip. Just a couple of things we'll do this week as we hit the road with our traveling man Neil Zerker as he sets out on a one tank trip to Sugar Creek, Ohio. Sugar Creek is a mixture of early America and old Switzerland. Tucked away here in a corner of Tuscarawas County, it's the kind of town that still has an old stone drinking fountain a place where the Swiss heritage even carries over to such things as gasoline pumps and even the public telephone booth. Just a mile outside of town, you can still buy kettle-made potato chips here at Tripp's Chips. You're invited to tour their one-room factory. You might even find Tripp and his brother JP helping out. Each of the boys has a potato chip named after him. Their mother claims people love their potato chips because of the way they're still made. We fry everything in cast iron kettles. By the way, while you're here, you can buy a bag of hot chips right out of the kettle. There's another new addition to the countryside here, Beachy's Country Chalet Restaurant, where you can sample both the local Swiss and Amish foods. All of it made from scratch in the kitchen of this sparkling new eating place. But one of the nicest additions to Ohio's Little Switzerland is the Ohio Central Railroad. This is the first year the 1912 steam-driven train has begun making the run from Sugar Creek to Baltic, a ride with much to see. You go through some floodplain area, it offers a beautiful uh, variety of wildlife. And plus, we have a lot of the farmlands, much of which are owned and operated by the Amish. You can see their uh, horses in the fields and their buggies along the highway. The train makes four trips a day, each one about an hour long, Monday through Saturday. They do not operate on Sundays. No reservations are needed. Simply stop in at the Sugar Creek Railroad Depot and purchase your ticket for a ride on a bit of America's path. And best of all, it's just a one-tank trip. I'm Neil Zerker, News Center 8 in Sugar Creek, Ohio. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Neil came through. <laughs> Last week we said Neil never brings us any of the food. Yeah, he did. He brought us the potato chips. He, he left us a note. The chips are from Tripp and JR, the two little boys the chips were named after. For the folks here after the show, that's us. And they just wanted to show us how good the chips are. <laughs> and the fly swatters were given to him on the trip he went to the flea market. I guess these are flea swatters, yes. right? Okay, Neil, Kinda, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And, and the chips are mighty good. They certainly are. Now we know what we're having for dinner. Don't stuff we? gets here, but we never get it. Yeah. it gets yeah. I think it gets sidetracked to Neil's home sometimes. We're going to guard these. That's our news at 6. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather is next. Thank you for sharing your time with us, and we hope to see you right back here tonight at 11 when we'll be stuffed with potato chips. Have a good evening.